Hello, in this AWS Solutions Architect Associate, I will be demonstrating uh, from module 6 uh, guided lab that is uh, creating a network environment. So, this module 6 guided lab demonstrates about this creating a virtual private cloud. You see this here, uh, the objectives of this lab is uh, very simple. After completion of this lab, you should be able to deploy a VPC create an internet gateway and attach to VPC, create a public subnet and a private subnet, create an application server that test the VPC. So, this is the object of this lab. So, also I have uh, started the lab and it is ready. You can see this console also management console, okay, which is part of this workaround labs. Yeah. So, once you complete this lab, this is the diagram which it looks like you will be creating the lab VPC with n 0 slash 16, a public subnet with 0 slash 24 and a private subnet 20 slash 24. We are also deploying an application server in the public subnet. Okay, so, the task 1 is uh, creating a VPC. So, select this VPC lab, I mean select VPC, the viewer VPC dashboard. Okay, like uh, let me go to the VPC dashboard. Yeah, this is your VPC dashboard, you can see your VPCs. You can see your VPCs, if you select your VPCs, you can see uh, yeah, that is there is one shared VPC and there is one default VPC. So, I am in North Virginia uh, region, you can see and uh, this is how it looks like. So, the shared VPC, the subnet is 10.500/16. anyway that is a different one. Okay. So, but here the VPC of the class CAD are range 10.0.0.16 which includes all uh, I mean uh, 10.0.0 65,000 will be later divided. So, yes we will try to uh, create a new VPC, yeah, create a new VPC that is lab VPC. We are going to create a lab VPC with 10.0.0.0 slash 16 create VPC this one, select this create VPC, VPC only, lab VPC, you can give 10.0.0.0 slash 24, this is my VPC. Uh, let me check, it, it should be slash 24 or slash 16, slash 16, slash 16. that NSC is default and create your VPC, a message will appear that this VPC has been successfully created. Yep, you can see your VPC is successfully created, this is our lab VPC 10.0.0.0.16, this is 10.5 that is a, on a different subnet. So, anyway the first two should not be matching, uh, it should be different that is what I mean. So, now let us go to the subnets, the second part. So, go to the subnets. Uh, okay, I think uh, in the lower half of the page, choose the tags lab. Okay. Uh, so, tags are useful. Yes, we will be also be doing this tags also. So, here actions edit DNS host names. So, for in this VPC itself, we missed out one thing. So, select this uh, lab VPC, not shared VPC lab VPC, under actions, edit VPC settings, maybe you can say edit enable DNS host names, he also wishes to have edit this DNS host name. So, once you have this one, you may get, you will get this type of uh, a friendly uh, what we call as a DNS name and say save changes. Yes, the task is complete, task 1 is complete. So, now let us create public subnet and a private subnet with the following values. So, how do I do? So, select the lab VPC, the first one uh, which I want to do is public subnet with the CIDR of 10.0.0 slash 24. So, go to subnets, uh, you say create a subnet. So, the VPC is your lab VPC, subnet name is uh, public subnet 
availability zone i think no preference select the first one okay 10.0.0/24 give the values accurately so tags you can see this name and subnet has come let us check if he is insisting to create uh, another subnet also yeah it is not shown here probably we will create again so this subnet is created public subnet select this one and now he also asked us to uh, the vpc is there in this particular cadr block uh, select this public subnet edit subnet settings and also enable auto assign so under actions edit subnet settings and you say enable auto assign say save okay let us create this another subnet which is called as a private subnet which the value is 10020/23 okay, create a subnet select your vpc that is your lab vpc subnet name is private subnet the availability zone may be the first one what did you say the first availability zone the value is CADR is 10.0.2.0 slash 23. So, remember earlier is slash 24, now it is slash 23, you will get 512 IPs, select the blue one. Okay, just say create subnet. Yeah, this completes task 2. So, now let us create internet gateway. So, the name of the internet gateway is lab IGW. So, how to do that? to select this internet gateway okay create internet gateway the name tag is igw this is the internet gateway yeah your internet gateway is ready now but it is detached so what i do i attach to the vpc attach to vpc that is lab vpc attach internet gateway so yeah you can see this internet gateway is now attached so that ends task number 3 task number 4 configuring our route table so here in our route table let us select this particular one route table you see where this lab vpc is there just go over here see this one if you extend this one see here there is one lab vpc select that particular one this is the router which is already created so let us name something on that so we will name it as a private route table private route table give this name a private route table and say save done now now in routes we need to connect to, we need to create a route uh, one to the internet gateway okay because the members whoever wants to access from the internet to access this vpc this internet gateway will be used so select this routes you create a route edit route add a route with 0000, 0, 0, 0 and target is internet gateway to your internet gateway and say save yes the route is added you can see select this uh, private route table sorry not that not that i made a mistake okay uh, select that remove that route edit routes this one remove that route Okay. instead of that instead of that what you need to do you need to create a route table and say this route table as public route table public route table and select your vpc that is lab vpc and say create a route table ok so for this select this uh, public route table for this you need to add this route go to edit routes add routes 
zero zero target is your internet gateway IGW and say save routes. See this we have created uh, edit routes, save settings, everything. Choose subnet associations tab. See this one, choose subnet associations and say edit subnet associations and say public subnets, save association. Yes, this part is done. So, to summarize, we have done, we have created internet gateway, route table, add a route, associate the route with the subnet is done. Now, task 5, create a security group for the application server. So, how do we do? Create security group in the same one. Go to the security group. Yeah, security group is there in the VPC itself. Create a security group with the name called as app SG. So, security group name is app SG. The description may be allow HTTP traffic. and your VPC should be, delete this one, should be your lab VPC. And in inbound rules, inbound rules, you can say HTTP, anywhere IPv4, allow web access. So, here add a rule, select HTTP, not this HTTP, source, anywhere, and you say allow web access. Yeah this is done, outbound rules leave as it is and say save rules. Yeah, Create security group. So, this security group shall contain inbound rule of I mean port number 80 which is allowed and the name of this one is uh, yeah you can see the security groups which has been just created app SG. So, this is the name of this one is app SG, right. So, now the last part of this launching an application server in the public subnet. So, what you do I just duplicate this session. So, here I go to EC2, you can go using compute and EC2. So, launch an instance that is name of the server is app server, we are selecting Amazon Linux AMI T2 micro. So, what I do I launch an instance, app server, so, select this Linux, this is T2 micro, perfect, key pair login, walk key, network settings you have to be careful here, uh, select this lab VPC and not private subnet, public subnet and you should be see this enabled. Okay, this is security groups, you can select an existing security group which is app, app SG, see this one, app SG, right public subnet and say uh, maybe uh, there is a role which we need to. Uh, uh, I am instance profile role. Scroll down, you can leave as it is in advanced details. See instance profile role, select this uh, inventory app role. Inventory app role. Okay, you need to, you can also uh, copy this one, this uh, section. I mean, this is actually a post installation script which will tell you. Uh, the steps for installing your web server. Steps for installing the web server, uh, I will just explain, it is a bin bash, yum install, httpd with mysql also and also it will install php. Okay. So, you wget with all this uh, inventory, uh, I mean that zip file, it unzips and you see wget uh, with aws zip, unzip that, start the service httpd. I also copy this script in the notepad, ok, 
okay so with all this script you can say now launch instance the instance should be ready within few minutes you should see success view all instances so select your app server public dns you should see the details right this is done you can see that app server is ready the public dns is also here this is the one public dns yeah so once you public dns is there you can copy paste ip so but please wait uh, till server is running you have to wait till the status checks comes to two by two health check passed so your website should start functioning if it is ready if all the things are ready see this one uh, you should message appears please configure your settings to connect the database you are not configured your database but the appearance of the inventory application demonstrates that the public subnet was correctly configured okay if you do not see this inventory application does not appear wait till 60 seconds and refresh the page again it can take couple of minutes to boot and launch the script install the software yes still it is not yet ready the not completed it's initializing the status check you can just wait once it is ready you should see run the script and installs because it's running the script and installs the software so this should be the final testing of the software You can see this one, the inventory, this page like this. Please configure your settings to the database. If you configure your settings and all these things, endpoint is your IP address, your database name, your uh, username, password, everything, you can connect to the database. So if you see this one, this is end of it. That is an indication that our public subnet started working and also it started accessing your server, all right? So once this is done, you can uh, say, Again, just wait till status check two by two completely health check passed. So uh, once this is done, yeah, the last step is submitting your work and uh, record your progress when completed. Choose yes. So you have this the uh, grade also 45 45 all task 1 task 2a task 2b task 2c 3 4a 6 all these things are complete are complete you can see full marks has been assigned so that's all about this lab so don't forget to end lab before we uh, close this lab okay we shall again meet in another lab thank you and bye